We welcome you out to EPAC All Access Jefferson Cougars edition. Nick Verzellini alongside me is Spencer Dupuis and Colin McLaughlin. Jefferson coming off of a 10-win season that landed them in the playoffs a year ago. But the big question, Mark, is what are they going to do at quarterback? And, guys, uh, we've spoken with Coach Hunter, but uh, you'll hear that in a little bit. And it's a three-man competition now for the quarterback position. Uh, but that's obviously the big question mark. Other than that, they have a lot coming back. Yeah, they do have a lot coming back. And when we talked to Coach Hunter, which you'll hear in the next segment, uh, he said he started with five, included two freshmen. Uh, then he kind of got it down to three. And there's one guy in the lead, and he's going to decide that after the final scrimmage this Saturday. And uh, he seems to think that, you know, just plug and play that guy compared to where they are with the receiving core and Evan Tool coming back in the, the backfield, the offensive line. I, I think when you look at this team, as you just mentioned, the biggest question mark has got to be that quarterback spot. And, and, you know, you see a lot of people have kind of put them as number two. And if they pick the right quarterback, I think they can be number two. It just depends how much, how much pressure is on this guy that's going to be their quarterback whenever they choose him. Yeah, yeah. whoever ends up being that quarterback, Colin, uh, they'll have you know a lot of weapons around that person to be successful yeah i was going to say that the question mark is uh so large for us we don't even have a name or any of the names of the uh, quarterback finalists but as you said nick whoever it is has a tremendous amount of weapons coming back for this jefferson team in the running back spot you got evan tool who we will talk to and you'll hear from here shortly on epac all access as well as Keyshawn robinson isaiah fritz those guys are going to be tremendous on that wide receiver core so it should be fun to see how this offense is if that quarterback is as talented as sammy roberts was last year to lead them to a nine and one record and jefferson's defense was also very pr impressive a year ago, Keyshawn Robinson returns to lead that secondary, pretty veteran group there. All those wide receivers that are back, they're back in the secondary. Uh, and defensively, the Cougars are going to have to get after it. And I think that will be really important for that young quarterback, for them to have a really good defense uh, to kind of take some pressure off of him. Yeah, I think if, if their defense can be uh, potentially you know, top two in the EPAC, I think that as long as the pressure is, is off the offense, and the defense, you know, as I say, defense wins championships. So if that defense can be top caliber this year and the offense, you know, it's going to probably be lagging a little bit only because you don't have the, a veteran quarterback coming back. But I think that offense, or excuse me, that defense can uh, take the pressure off that offense. I almost forgot a guy that I don't think we should leave out, and that's Spencer Powell coming back for that wide receiver spot as well. So uh, whoever that quarterback is will have three guys to work with. But I agree with Spencer. The defense is going to have to stand up. A lot of those guys that we mentioned on the offensive side most likely will play on that defensive side as well, which always brings trouble. You never know how the conditioning will be. But I think this Jefferson team will be fine when it comes to that. And I'm looking forward to come week one how they are throughout the entire season. Yeah, and I think you know you, you mentioned that receiver core. It could be tops in the state with the amount of guys they have coming back and the, the stats they put up last year. So, I mean, if your quarterback can get into a groove uh, with these receivers, I think it could be that offense could be very potent. That's if and when a quarterback can get in, in great, great chemistry with these receivers. All right, we'll take our first break here on EPAC All Access. When we return, we'll be joined by the head coach of the Jefferson Cougars, Craig Hunter. When will I be able to retire? How do I make the most of the money I have? How do I leave a lasting legacy to my loved ones? I'm Philip McCoy, financial advisor with the Marius Group, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated. Call us today at 304-263-4343 to help you make the most of your financial future. Our office is located at 1270 Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. Welcome back to EPAC All Access. We're now joined by Cougars head coach Craig Hunter. And coach, last year you guys had a pretty good year, resurgent year for your team, made the playoffs again. Um, but you lose your quarterback, and it seems like that's the number one question heading into this year. Uh, yeah, um, you know, Sammy was uh, great for us over the last two years, everything he's done for the offense. And knowing the offense, you know, everybody's asking me the question every time I see somebody, uh, have you picked the quarterback? Who's your quarterback? Um, we have three guys who are actually in a competitive fight for the actual starting job. Um, I think one of those people have taken a step forward in the job, but it's still not finished. We have another scrimmage where we're evaluating everybody, 
and they will know after that scrimmage who will be starting week one. And you bring up week one, you'll be at Millbrook and uh, playing similar to your schedule last year, your out of conference games will be out of state either in right up in Hagerstown or right down in the Winchester area in Virginia. Uh, what kind of competition do those two areas bring to your team as non-conference games? Uh, pretty, pretty much over the years they brought great competition for us um, out of conference to get us ready for in-conference games. Um, you know, seeing Millbrook and Sharando early in the season uh, helps us out. And then with the resurgence of James Wood, and James Wood being a good team last year, uh, helps prepare us for um, other, t other schools down the road. So we get a lot of good competition. You know, South Hagerstown has been very competitive over the years against us with the way they run their inside zone. Um, North Hagerstown's new, so it's just new to us to play against North Hagerstown. Uh, they typically have a lot of good athletes on their team. So, you know, hopefully, uh, they continually bring a uh, good uh, com competitive spirit to our games. And going back onto the offense side of things for your team, you bring back a great receiving core, uh, Keyshawn Robinson, Spencer Powell, just to name a few. Uh, what does it say about your receiving core that they're ready to go no matter who the quarterback is? Uh, well, there's a lot of speed in that receiving core. Um, like you said, we have Spencer Powell, we have Keyshawn Robinson, Isaiah Fritz. Um, Caleb Shelton, Oren Humphreys, you know, we have, we have, we go about five or six deep with the guys um, and they all have, a, they all have great speed and they can catch the ball and they run good routes. So hopefully if we can, you know, get a quarterback and get the ball to them, then I think we'll be all right. And then you're looking at the rest of your uh, offense, the running back and the, the offensive line situation. Well, returning Evan Tool, thousand yard rusher last year, um, has, has uh, power, great balance, footwork. Uh, can get in out of his brakes quickly and get back downhill to downhill running. Um, the O line is is a mixture of some veteran guys with a lot of inexperienced youth. So we know we're trying to figure that out too. Um, we had a scrimmage evaluating them this past week. Um, they made some mistakes, which is typical in your first scrimmage. Uh, but it's all things that was assignment based. It wasn't lack of effort. It wasn't uh, just getting ran over or strength thing. It was just a Assignment thing, just learning what, learning a new offense for some of these guys, and uh, just getting getting people in front of you that's not what you're typically used to seeing. So uh, they'll be fine this week. I'm pretty sure we'll get things back on track. And uh, moving over to the defense, obviously you returned a pretty good defense from last year. Helped you guys get into the playoffs, and uh, you know Keyshawn Robinson, a pretty good def defensive back, and uh, seemed like everything is kind of mostly the same there. Oh uh, yeah, pretty much the mo mostly the same there. Uh, I believe the defense is going to be probably extremely quick or extremely fast um, up front. Uh, we're returning some guys, but I know a lot of these guys are um, young, a little bit smaller, but still strong and quick and move. Uh, returning uh, Nolan Melib, who's a great middle linebacker. Um, Evan Toole plays defense also. Uh, that whole secondary is pretty much the receiving core. And then you um, get a surgence of getting to see Nasir Jacobs on the outside, taking the spot where Bryson Fleming was last year. And then looking over to the special team side, obviously special teams a big part of the game. What's your uh, kicking and punting game looking like this year? Uh, well, I don't know what the kicking and punting game is looking like this year. Uh, we've had a great kicker. Um, we're not sure if he's going to be able to actually kick for us this year. Um, he had some injury over the summer. We're trying to work through that to see if he'll be able to kick for us this year. Um, we're not sure yet. Uh, but he has stepped in and played in other spots as far as receiver, outside linebacker. Um, he's athletic enough that he can step in and play in those spots. Um, but we still have the return game with, you know, Keyshawn Robinson, uh, Tayshawn Roper, uh, possibilities of Caleb Shelton stepping in there and returning some kicks also. Um, a lot of speed back there, and those guys can find a hole and, and take it and give us good field position. And when you look at the EPAC as a whole, you guys put, have put yourself in the last couple of years in the upper echelon of the EPAC, and uh, it's going to be another competitive year in the conference. Oh, it's always competitive in the conference. When you got you know teams like Martinsburg, Musselman, Spring Mills, Hedgesville, and Washington, we know each other so well. Um, the kids know each other. They know everybody knows what they're going to do. So it's all really competitive. So hopefully we can stay up in the top this year and continue um, the success we've had over last year. Do you have like a team mantra heading into the season? Because I know last year we talked to you all the time. You said stay humble, stay hungry. Is that kind of the same this year? Uh, it's kind of the same thing. We got to stay humble, stay hungry because this is a whole new team. So we can't live off what last year did. We got to create our own. Um, and that's the main thing. I told them in the scrimmage, um, Pat, last week that, you know, we're not last year's team. We got to actually develop our own, create our own going forward. So stay humble, stay hungry, and we got to create our own for this upcoming year. 
All right, Coach, thanks for the time. We'll be back for more EPAC All Access next. Before the invitations and the dress, the flowers, cake, candles, or vows, there is an answer to a question proposed with a ring. Bechtel Jewelers knows that an important part of your wedding happens before the I do's. We're a diamond store with an engagement and bridal jewelry selection that's both exciting and accessible. On the big day, there's everything else and there's the ring. Make sure you get this one right at Bechtel Jewelers in Inwood. Welcome back to EPAC All Access. Nick Verzellini now joined by uh, Jefferson wide receiver and defensive back Keyshawn Robinson. Keyshawn, uh, heading into this year, how, how does the team look so far this summer? How have workout, workouts uh, gone? We look pretty well. We look fantastic. I think that we have potential to be a state champion this year. We work hard together. We have team leaders. And I think we can go pretty far. You have a new quarterback this year, Sammy, graduated. So uh, how's the competition looked, and, and what have you seen out of the new guys? Um, I think we have pretty talented players, and uh, our QB's pretty well. I think we can work well with him, get used to his throws. And there's a lot coming back uh, to help out whoever ends up being your starting quarterback. Uh, I guess we'll start with wide receivers. What have you seen from the other wide receivers? A lot of veterans, a lot of guys have experience at that position. Um, we have a good a good amount of wide receivers. I say probably top five, which is Spencer Powell and Isaiah Fritz and Oren Humphreys. We've worked pr uh, pretty well together playing both sides of the ball. What did you want to work on this off season? I say wide receiver, and I've been doing pretty good at corner so. I've been trying to work harder on other stuff, help the team out. Anything specifically at wide receiver, route running, catching? Yeah, anything? I'd say route running. And then uh, defensively, that's kind of been your, your main spot where you stood out last year and uh, made some big plays in the secondary. Uh, what can we expect out of the Jefferson defense this year? Is a, is a pretty successful unit for you guys last year? Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty successful. We have a good line. They're starting to pick up more stuff, starting to know their job. And we have a good secondary, and I think they can do their job too. All right, Keyshawn, thank you, and uh, good luck this season. Thank you. Hello, this is Mark Sutton of the Sutton & Janelle Law Firm. The right attorney can make all the difference in your case. That's why you should call Sutton & Janelle. We have been serving clients in West Virginia and Maryland since 1999 in the areas of family law, DUI, criminal defense, and personal injury. Sutton & Janelle works hard to obtain a favorable outcome for you at a reasonable rate with affordable payment options. Sutton & Janelle values your rights and is passionate about your success. Contact us today at suttonandjanelle.com. Welcome back onto EPAC All Access. Colin McLaughlin here now, one on one with Evan Toole, the Jefferson running back. Evan, nine and one last year. You've been a starter the past few seasons for Jefferson. Uh, what have you been working on this past off season? Just the same thing I work on every season: footwork, vision, speed, strength, just all that type of stuff. Being a starter now, a leader for that offensive side. What are some of the things that have really grown from your freshman year up until now for yourself? Definitely my strength and my speed have been my main focus. Mainly my speed, trying to get that up so I can make it to the next level. How's the team looking this season? I honestly think we're looking just as good as we did last year. We had a couple things to work on. But I know we're all ready for the first game. I know we're all fired up. So This season now, coming off that 9-1 and one season, what are your goals for the team? Trying to make it back to where we made it, make it even farther, beat Bridgeport. <laughs> what are some of the things that you guys need to do to get to that? Um, some of the main things we're working on right now is just offensive, defensive line. I think we have, we have the people. We just need to get their keys right. They're messing up their keys and all that type of stuff. Just got to get that stuff right. That's it. Last year was more of a 50-50 between run and pass on the offensive side. Is it yeah. going to be more the same this year? Are you feeling like you might get some more carries this season? I mean, it might be a possibility, but I know we have a QB that can do it. He just has to step up and do it. What's your relationship with uh, your guys' new quarterback this season after Sammy graduated? That's, that's my guy. 
He can definitely do it. I believe in him a lot. What are you most excited about this season? Just my senior year, just having fun. What are you hoping to be remembered by uh, since it's your senior year here at Jefferson? Hoping to be remembered by first person, hopefully ever get 2,000 rushing yards in a season. What are your plans afterwards? Hopefully I can play college football. All right. Thank you, Evan. We'll be back for more EPAC All Access after this. A reputation for caring, a legacy of service. At Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations, it's been our story since 1880. A family-owned business, we support the needs and wishes of families. We offer traditional services, as well as many options for cremation, customized remembrances, and pre-planning. Brown Funeral Homes and Cremations retains its family atmosphere and stays true to its roots. Contact us for advanced planning or at your time of loss. We're here when you need us. Are y'all ready? You ready? There we go. Hey, Fred! Hey, listen up! Listen up! Any freshmen or sophomores, they're on the sideline right now. Get the dummies out the building. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Hey, man. 50%, not full speed. I need you to take your little sister's jersey off. <laughs> Does it really? All right, all right, just check it. I'm going to look awfully tight. Look like a schmedium. Look like a schmedium. All right. Hey, return is the return guy. Hey, come on, man. Quit walking around. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Quit walking around. Go. Good job, good job. Hey, sit on these blocks. Hey, hustle back to your spot. Same group, same group. Hustle back to your spot. Hey, guys on kickoff. Hey, give me a little bit. Stung a little bit. Give me more of a jog, all right? Pick up the Oh, it stung a little bit. My elbow when I did my first one. Hustle up. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Quit walking. Hey, I need a kickoff. Not up in your spot. Hey, give me that varsity kickoff. Give me that varsity kickoff. See what he says first. Varsity kickoff. Varsity kickoff. Let's go. Oh, I'm on that side. Oh, go. Come on, Where we at? Where we at? How many listen? I'm on this side, yeah. One, two, three. Where's first kickoff? Let's go. Daughter. Get your head out your butt, sir. Huh? Come on, we've been okay. calling, it, called it like five times. Who's that? Take, sheesh. He came in fast. Hustle back, hustle back. Hey, he came in from the gunner to this side. Yeah. He he's in the straight, he's just D-line straight for the ball. Hey, Tay, we better have that on kickoff. Tay, you hear that? You better have that on kickoff. Hey, y'all got backup five. Y'all got backup five. He's standing here because he's throwing. I'm standing because I'm throwing. Y'all got backup five. Now, why are y'all getting under so fast? Watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm gonna mess these guys up on this one. Here we go, here we I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna mess them up on this one. Last rep, fellas, last rep, last rep. Can, last I, mess, rep. can, can I mess them up on this one? I can mess them up. Oh! Fair catch it! Boom! Boom! Hey! Hey! Turn. Yeah, that's it, hey, fair catch that. One more time, let's go! Aaron. Let's go. Aaron. That's a mad, hey, that's a Madden hit stick right there. Hey, for real, don't don't be scared. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. I have no clue. Ready? Yes, sir. Go, Captain in here. Get what you can. Let's go. Nice move. Hey, get water. Hey, get water. Get water. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry off the field. Hustle off the field. Let's go. Let's go. Off the field. Let's go. Get water. Get water. What do you want? What do you want? I was going to ask Coach EJ a question. About what? So, ball is tanked over there. We can do punt tomorrow. 
the ball is shanked over there. And uh, the four pulls all the way over there. What? So, if the four is here. You got the four. So I get the four no matter what. You got the four. Outside linebackers, let's go, let's go in the hop. Get a drink, let's go. Get off the bench, let's go. Uh, give me the um hand shields, hand shields. I need hand shields. Hey, Jackson, go get me two hands. Go get me a hand shield. Hurry up. If I ask Takeem, he can't get there. His hips don't move like that. I don't care. I don't care what uh, Shakira says. The hips do lie. Right here, right here, Diego. Fall, fall in. Just falling somewhere. Falling somewhere. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Balls here. Balls here. Balls here. Balls here. Ready? Sit. 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 Ball's here. Sit. 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 Here we go. Y'all ready? Ball's here. One's here. Ball's here. One's here. Sit. Go. Come back. Hustle back. Hustle back. Sir, I need you to pick it up. I need you to pick it up. I'm, I'm tired of talking to you every day. I need you to pick it up. I messed up, I messed up going 100 miles an hour. All right. Can't, hey, let's see. Effort. Effort. Here we go. Here we go. Same thing. Same thing. Sit. Go. China. Ball's here. One's here. Ball's here. One's here. Listen for the calls. Ready? Sit. Go. China. You all right? Violently drop the hips, sir. Violently drop the hips. Sit. Go. Go. I said go. I didn't say out. I said go. It means keep going. Keep going. Let's go. Hustle up. Hustle up. Good job, Orin. Good job, Orin. Go means keep going with the seam. Ready? Sit. Go. Out, 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 out. Hustle back, hustle back, hustle back, hustle back, hustle back, hustle back. Somebody get a dummy, somebody get a dummy, somebody get a dummy, somebody get a dummy, somebody get a dummy. Let's go, let's go. Ball's here. Ball's here. We're here. We're stepping, stepping, run two, run two. Coming down, taking on the block. Remember, take on the block. Ready? Give him something, go to him a little bit. All right, set. There we go. Come on. Sit. Sit. Ah, come on, come on. We got to come down. Listen, hey, don't miss. Remember, we got to come down, come down, come down, come down, come down. All right. Stay here. Stay low. Stay here. Yeah, scoot shoulder square so you can re redirect. Sit. Stay square. Sit. Don't turn your shoulders. Don't turn your shoulders. I'll show you in a second why you can't turn your shoulders. Okay? Come get me. Come get me. Come get me. All right? Set. There you go. There you go. Set. Ah, make contact. Make contact. He's just not going to be a dummy in the game. He's going to try to stay on top of you. Make contact with it. You got to make sure y'all come down. Come down. Here. Stay square. Hit. So you can come off on it. Hit here. Punch. You got to punch it. I know it's a dummy. He's not holding it hard for you. And you might slide off. But at least give me the punch. Set. Got to react. Got to react. Turn your shoulders. And you shuffle down. You shuffle down. So you're here. You're here. All right, come on, come on. Harry, go, come on. You've been in an accident. Why won't the insurance company pay? Because they're trying to save money at your expense. Call Mansion Ferretti for your free consultation. We have the experience to deal with the insurance company and get you the compensation you deserve. Mansion Ferretti, when you need justice. 
We welcome you back to EPAC All Access. Nick Verzellini alongside me is Spencer Dupuy and Colin McLaughlin. And guys, we've heard from the coaches, we've heard from the players. Uh, this Jefferson team looking to make it back to the playoffs. And uh, same schedule as last year pretty much, just different locations for those games and uh, some tough non-conference games to help them get ready for the EPAC season. Yeah, when you look at that non-conference schedule, I mean, they bring back two Virginia, two Maryland schools, North, South, Hagerstown from Maryland, Sharando and James Wood out of Virginia. Those those four teams are, you know, caliber teams that can help, uh, you know, push Jefferson to the next level. And Sharando is on a lot of these EPAC teams scheduled this year, and they're looking to have a resurgent year. So if you can get a good game out of all those four games, I think that helps your EPAC and, and, you know, Jefferson, if they can be as best as they can be, they can be 6-0, 5-1 in the conference. It just depends how that Martinsburg game shapes out. And then, you know, I don't know too much about Sharando, James Wood, North or South Hagerstown. So, I mean, you got a good – obviously, you look at the EPAC, the EPAC is the EPAC, as we always say, and it's tough competition. But if this if this quarterback that Jefferson's going to have is just going to be more of a plug and play situation where he's they're confident in his abilities, uh, you could see a, you know, 7-3 and three, eight and two team this year as well that was the point that i was going to bring up there spencer this team definitely has the talent to probably get back to that nine and one spot but i don't think it's realistic to expect that because we don't know how that quarterback's going to be so i was going to say that it's most likely going to be at that seven and three maybe eight and two is probably the high point of uh i guess the expectation for this team this year but seven and three maybe even unfortunately for them six and four you never know we Six and four and still see. could get you in the playoffs. Yes, it can. It's just obviously with the season they had last year, not what they want. I think my expectation would still be for Jefferson to be a playoff team. I'm not certain if I would put a win number on it because we really don't know uh, how good this quarterback is going to play. We don't even know who it is going to be because they haven't officially named that starter until after uh, their scrimmage on Saturday. So I think, though, that Jefferson as a team – has enough around whoever ends up being the quarterback that they will find ways to win games. And their running game I expect to be really good. Evan Toole wants to lead the uh, state in rushing yards this year. He has the ability to do that. And I think they have the ability to rely on him to win games. So don't expect Sammy Roberts-type numbers, but with all those weapons and a good running back, I can't see this team not making the playoffs at least this year. Yeah, Toole, a 1,000-yard rusher last year. He wants to – double that yeah. this season is what we heard from him which obviously is a tough task they probably won't be able to throw the ball if he wants to reach that goal and I don't think that's going to be the case with the receivers they have coming back that's true and, and uh Spencer what would be I guess your expectations for this team uh, like I said seven and three eight and two maybe six and four I mean it just uh, uh, my biggest question and I think it's on a lot of minds who is the quarterback is it going to be a younger guy? Is it going to be a guy that's been in this program that knows a little bit more about about the team and everything? And I think, honestly, as the defense goes, the team's going to go this year. But as the quarterback goes, that offense is going to go. And whoever the week one starter is, will they be on a short leash? Because if it's three finalists right now, if they struggle and they like what the other two guys are possibly doing in practice, could we or see the them JV throughout level. the entire season? Yeah, those are all uh, some good things to look at. And I think now that we've been to every team's EPAC camp, uh, we have kind of a good feel for the conference. I'd still put Jefferson probably in those top three spots on paper. I think there's a lot of talent back on that team. But where do we think maybe the rest of the conference looks? I mean, it's really very open behind Martinsburg, like we've said on the other episodes. Uh, but I would still put Jefferson probably in that top three, at least heading into the season, even with the question marks there at quarterback. I'd agree with that. I've been thinking about it uh, during our entire time traveling around the EPAC as well. It's obviously most likely going to be Martinsburg, number one. You put Jefferson probably in that top three, but whether they're second like last year or if they're in that third spot and somebody surprises us from around the EPAC, we'll have to wait and see. And they got – of course, EPAC games early in the year as well, so we'll have a better idea of how things all shape up in just a few weeks, guys. Uh, excited for the season? Yeah, definitely excited for the season. Excited we were able to do, you know, this is the last episode that's going to air, uh, you know, numbers-wise of EPAC All Access, and I'm happy that the product we were able to put out and looking forward to 
the football season and looking forward to another year of VPAC All Access next year. Yeah, we'll hopefully have uh, some better stuff for you, some more content for you. As Spencer just said, this is only year number one, so things always will be building on TV10. Yeah, and even throughout the season, we might even get some new stuff if we end up having some time. Colin's got some new stuff planned in just a few weeks. That is very true. Monday Night Mayhem coming on the uh, Talk Radio WRNR and TV yeah, 10 just, side. Just remember, keep it locked, TV 10, for all your local high school sports. Uh, we have the best all, EPAC all access. All right, so for Keyshawn Robinson, Evan Toole, and Coach Craig Hunter, along with Spencer Dupuy and Colin McLaughlin, I'm Nick Verzellini saying so long here from Jefferson High School and hope you enjoyed this episode of EPAC All Access.